Well, we can find a lot of reasons when not to do uh, an intervention. It isn't the perfect time. They've got this thing going on at their job. The ideal time to do it is, is, is when we recognize the need to do it. If it was any other major medical issue, you would not put it off saying that this is not the optimum time. I'm Robert Phillips and I am the uh, Intervention Specialist Family Facilitator here for American Addiction Centers. It's not what you see on television. What you see on television, uh, they're either going to go running out of the room or they leave treatment uh, 10 to 15 days. They leave what we call AMA, they leave against medical advisement. True intervention is, is that you go in and you examine what the, the family's roles and rituals and, and how they respond together. And, and you take a look at how the family interacts with one another. Uh, we've, we've come to understand that there are a, a series of maladaptive behaviors that often what we do, often what happens is, is that families start practicing supportive and often encouraging behavior that encourages the dependent disorder or the, the addictive behavior to manifest itself in its members. And that in, in essence, uh, the person that may be struggling today may have, been, may have inherited a backpack. And that backpack may be loaded down with some form of coping and adaptive skill that had been learned and acquired across multiple generations. And so part of the process is, is that we go in and we, we talk to the family uh, in the presence of the client and we get them each and every person there to make a, make a commitment to make some form of change. We open their, the ideal that, that, that there is a, a solution that is available. And what is that solution? Well, that solution may involve some form of stabilization. It may involve treatment. And that the most efficient way and the most effective way to do that is to go into treatment. Uh, and in a matter of a, a few short weeks, we can have him, him or her back home. And, uh, and they have the tools necessary so that they can be able to move forward. I love what I do because I have an opportunity to witness the transformative power of what happens when a person accepts help. If you always do what you've always done, you're always going to get what you always got. And so why not do something different? Change what, the way we respond, change the way we react, change how we uh, approach what's going on and when we change that then by nature that client or the individual has to change as well.